Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at installing a Fenrir into a Sega Saturn console. The Sega Saturn in question has a faulty drive so I thought it would be a good opportunity to swap it out. Basically what the Fenrir mod does is allow you to play games direct from an SD card so it eliminates the need for discs which is a good thing. I bought the Fenrir from 8bitmods.com So what we'll do now is we'll disassemble the console and remove the drive So let's take a look what's inside the box first of all We have a ribbon cable The Fenrir PCB itself And a bracket there's also a little instruction leaflet which is handy to have. I'd like to say a special thanks to our friends at PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Head over and take a look at what PCBWay have to offer. A highly trusted company for all your PCB and electronics needs. It really is a one stop shop. You can simply upload your Gerber's file and they will take care of the rest for you. There's also a vast community on there where you can delve into it and browse thousands of projects from the community or upload and share your own. The link for PCBWay is down below in the description. You'll also get a $5 welcome bonus from your, for your first order. Why not try the best in the business? So now what we'll do is we'll disassemble the console. It's just a normal Phillips head screwdriver you need for this, there's no special tools or anything required. As you can see there's already a Pico PSU installed in the console. So what I'll do now is remove the drive from the console. There isn't any screws holding the drive in place, so what we'll do is remove the two cables. They just pull out like so, and the ribbon cable, just be a bit more careful with that. And that just comes out very easily too. There also appears to be an anchor point on the drive assembly, so we'll remove that also. That's just a single screw holding it on. And now the drive just pops off. It's as easy as that to remove the drive. The Fenrir board itself is a lot smaller in comparison to the In comparison to the disk drive, the Fen Fenrir board is a lot smaller, as you can see. I think what we'll do is we'll remove that anchor point so it doesn't interfere with us. So the little hatch on the, the board that just pulls out and pushes up a little bit. What we'll do now is just push the cable in and push that down. See it appears that cable is actually too thick to use. I think that's why they supplied this with another ribbon cable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the old ribbon cable out and replace it because it does appear to be a lot thinner at the end. So 
little bit uneasy enough. And that's on now to the board. Yeah, so you definitely have to remove the old ribbon cable. I thought I would get away without doing that, but it does appear to be a lot thicker than the one supplied with the board. So it's also a little bit longer as well. So it's definitely recommended just to change that out. And now we'll put this bracket back on. And let the board rest here. Now for the power cable. The power cable does seem to be a little bit of a stretch. That doesn't fit. Hmm. Okay, it looks like I'm going to need to abort mission here. It appears the Fenrir's only get four pins on the power connector and this has got five. I think this is actually down to me. What had happened originally was I had a Mark II PAL version of a Saturn now that had been lying about for ages and I think for some reason or another I've got rid of it I mean I'm going back well over a year ago when I ordered the Fenron that's been sitting about ever since so it's obviously not for this console which is a shame so what I'll do is I'll put the Saturn back to the way it was and see if I can get hold of another Mark II console but I think we get the idea of how to install it. If that was a 4 pin version that would have just went into there and that would have been it fully installed so such a shame I was looking forward to playing some games on it as well but what can you do? What I'll do is I'll put this back to stock the way it was and see if I can get hold of a PAL Mark II Saturn that's maybe got a faulty drive and fit the board to that. So. In the meantime, I'll just be sticking this back together. So really that's a little lesson guys, um, I know 8-bit mods do two versions of this board, one a 4 pin version one a 5 pin so it's it's definitely worthwhile checking your console before you order it. As I say I, I would have checked it at the time, I did have a Mark II, it was such a long time ago I did order this that I, didn't rem I couldn't remember the specifics of it so I thought it was actually for this console which it turned out it's not sadly so there we go, we'll just put the console back together. Thanks again for watching guys, I hope to see you in the next video, hopefully the next one will be a bit more successful than this. Cheers, bye bye.